Hello everybody, welcome to the third quarter final of season 38 of CCL, Chalice, whatever you want to call it. We've got Cyber Knight and his Bretonians versus Kfog and his Skaven. And with me in the booth is Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. What a game we have in prospect here. Um, very much equalised to me by the fact that the Rat team is absolutely terrible. And the Bretonians are about as good as you could expect. So I think that puts them on a roughly even footing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Terrible Skaven team versus a god tier Bretonian team. Pretty even match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Um, we've got two cracking coaches. Uh, I mean, I, I've played Cyber Knight several times against his Bretonians, and he is extremely good with them and a very talented coach. I'm looking forward to seeing some Bretonians used uh, really, really well here. And of course, uh, Kfog, known for his uh, his ability with just about any dodgy tier one team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cyber, Cyber Knight is great, and as far as Bretonian teams go, he's got a great team, hasn't he? He's got four yes. quad step tacklers. That's amazing for dealing with Skaven, and they've yep. all got something extra on top of that as well, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. There's 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 yes, joyful good. toys are plenty. There's a lovely frenzy mighty blow hitter. There's a fast one. There's a leader one. Loads of sidestep, lots of tackle. It's it's how you would want to build it if you knew you were facing a rat team. Whether it's going to be enough even then, who knows? Oh, yeah. I mean, this Skaven team is. I mean, we, we may joke that it's a one piece team, but it, it's really not. Um, there's three, or maybe even four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the rats, the, the gutter runners are fine. Yeah. Um, and one the of the blitzes is fine. Yeah, I mean he could he could certainly use claw um, on his main hitter. Uh, I think you'd love to see grab on the uh, the other storm vermin as one turning is such a central part of how these rats are trying to get things done. Yeah. But that said, I mean uh, people underrate the gutters here because there is that one exceptional star one. But uh, don't overlook the fact that whilst it's ag six and wrestle sidestep and plus move, so it's a near natty. Uh, the other two that have dropped back with it have both got two heads, so they can dodge at AG5. Yeah. Which, even against sidestep, might be able to fill the holes that allows him to get that one push he needs to one turn. Yeah, he does love filling holes. <laughs> at the same time, the other gutter is, again, one of his most useful pieces, as it's, uh, it's one of only two guards he's got. And, of course, incredibly fast and armoured with blodge. Now, that's not a lot of use against this much tackle. Um... And I think that's the piece I'd be targeting early, as it's the one up on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> yes, man, is that true? Yeah, this is the one that he exposed the most, isn't it? It's like, mm. it's the one that's got to get stuck in to do things, and it's also, yep. you know, like it's, it's kind of the most expendable one, kind of. It, it is, uh, but it's incredibly useful still. Uh, and if there's going to be a sack of the of the Bretonians on at any stage, rather than just you know, trying to exist and one turn, uh, and then perhaps a withdrawn offence to get your drive done, then that guard gutter is probably key to it. Uh, certainly, I tried to bang on it last round, and uh, it, it weirdly has a sort of hidden AV12 stat that doesn't show on the <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like that reroll. I mean, he's not got a big foul in it, has he? That's like if it was exposed for, like, you know, if he was going to push it into this square. And I've had three, you know three two assist foul already, and then just yeah. got a massive foul on it. But I, I don't really like but yeah, that. But yeah, exactly. Really the, the slightly advanced junk rat ahead of it um, stops it being any more than a you know, single assist. Yeah, I didn't really think that was. Oh, cause I, I guess because he's going to push through with the Dodgers. Yes, I think he's trying to put some backfield pressure on around the other side, isn't he? And just try and control that hit even piece uh, and maybe set it up for a foul in later turns. Yeah, these teams are equal TV. Yeah, uh, Cyber Knight was 17 10, I believe. Um, Alright, so he's got a he's got a babe, he scummed a babe. Cyber Knight was 17 10 and K Fog was 17 20, so Cyber Knight's put 40k in for a babe. Yeah. Which uh, obviously uh, K Fog has no answer to. <laughs> yeah. Well, his answer was to Kaz Kazagai on turn one, which surely helps, doesn't it? I mean, scaling yeah, I mean, players with, is with, pretty disgusting. 
they're neither of them particularly long on bench, are they? So, I mean, with some AV7 on the on the pitch, a babe is, uh, is a nice little security blanket to have. It means yeah. you don't usually have to throw your Apo at a KO in the first half, which otherwise, with this low numbers, you might be tempted to do. Yeah, that, I mean, that is definitely the weakness of the Burt, isn't it? Only 12 men with the Army 7 line, as well as KFOX got 14, which is a more acceptable number, isn't it? Um, and some guy 113, uh, does he have enough stand firm that the jugs is necessary? No. <laughs> um, it's a, a simple question, simple answer there. Uh, no, he doesn't. He has one stand firm. Yeah. And that's a lot less than the three you need. But he does have sidestep, so... He does have sidesteppers. I imagine the sidesteppers on the line are his plan against the one-turner. Yeah. So as I said, those two-headed gutter runners might be a uh, cause plan as to how to uh, still get the push he needs. Yep. Hello, Pedro. Yeah, there you go. There's some quick maths for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess you would say KFUG's dicing Cyber so far, right? Is, is exactly as Ducky says, the two removals on the LOS and then... Yeah, very, very early days in this, though. Um, still a lot of shadow boxing going on. Yeah. Cyber Knight trying to imply some backfield pressure. Uh, and Cause absolutely seems to have eaten that, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's come back in numbers to deal with these, uh, these knights coming through. Yeah. But of course, that thins the line of scrimmage and allows uh, Cyber to get even more pieces on top of this uh, slightly withdrawn offense. Yeah, he's really gone after it here. I mean, I, I wasn't in in time, but I'm prepared to gamble that uh, that Cyber got the kickoff. I think yeah. Core would much rather have uh, have defended and then tried, if he needed to, to one turn on turn eight, I keeping everything so. live for turn sixteen. So much harder. Yeah, so. He's getting all the men in so he can blitz with this blitzer, probably. And Brett's, of course, responsive enough that if the rats do just run up the field, um, they're not going to be able to have many turns before there's a lot of pressure on them there, too. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is a, lot, this is a huge commitment here. Um, I would have been tempted to go the other way, you know, to try and shore up any moving around, because this is, like, a lot of stuff next to them. They can just bez away, can't they? Yeah. I think he might, I think he was going to put down and tackle on the ball, yeah, but wasn't able to, was he, with the uh, both down? Absolutely, if it, yeah, if it managed that advance. Down and tackle doesn't do anything, but tackle does, and you know, if he was if he was on both of them, then, uh, you know, he'd have had to blitz him, and he's got sidestep, and, you know. Yes, the down and tackle wouldn't do anything, you know, six, but it would do stuff to the others. Yeah, I mean, the, the guard gutter then would be, you know, a low priority move for Core and a reasonable chance of it uh, failing or of it ending up stuck where it might be surfable. Um, so, I mean, I liked that. It, it is, you know, incredibly easy for the rats to run away from this, but it's, if, if Cyber can even make, uh, make him leave two or three rats behind, uh, then he can get some of the hitting done that he really wants to in this half, clear some of that fodder out. He's really, he's really hemmed in this lineman, hasn't he? He's, um, he's not going to be escaping anytime soon. No, so I mean, I think we might see Core just do the easy dodges here, and, and then you know, accept the the hit from the grass. Now, also in the game I played against him, we did see him rely a fair amount on uh, on things like Dauntless, so he uh, he doesn't mind that one in six risk if that's the way he thinks to get things done. You know, I've noticed that about that in general with uh, KFOG, he'll often he'll often not care about a oh this is a this is a bad. Yeah, so there we are. Dauntless failed, um, as I called. That was the blitz he went for. Ah, but yeah, he just gets to follow and dodge out the other side. But there he's rolled yeah. a one. He's got tackle. <laughs> Exciting. He did need that piece back to uh, to make this screen complete. I think that's probably right. Uh, even the four plus three plus there isn't horrific as a, as a chance to take a hit at this ball carrier. I think Cyber would have gone for that. Probably done some of a lot of safe stuff first, but uh, there are even ways to make it just a simple three plus by removing the rat and guarding it from behind. Mm. 
So that reroll had to come in, so that's a fair number of rerolls gone early. Neither of that long on rerolls, of course. I mean, he's got a hit on the ball here, hasn't he? Pretty. Oof. Like, he's just got to clear out this guy. And he's got a 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hit. 3 plus 2 plus to hit the ball. If he can pow, pow this fella with a, with a peasant. Yep. Oof. And hitting that guy, you know, normally you're not that bothered about hitting gutters, are you? Because at the end of the day, even if you knock it over, they'll still just pick it up and, you know, you haven't really achieved anything. But when it's a gutter that good, you've, you've almost got to go over the hits on the ball, haven't you? Even if you've got yeah, to Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we'd see, probably even on a KO, uh, we'd see the Apo come in. Yeah. Just yeah. to keep it around for certain. Yeah. Um, and even just removing the Apothecary is such a huge, you know momentum swing in your favor hasn't chosen to to use that piece he decided he was going to hit the uh, the guard gutter instead i think that's okay there are other pieces that can still get there on the same dice aren't there yeah i mean well he would have had a four plus three plus wouldn't he this way he can put in the guard and then if he, he needs a power now though i would think i would have done this hit first so you'd have known if you got the power or not yeah and then you can look at other plans or you know, do you really want to risk the four three yeah be a four four three, wouldn't it? No, four three. Four yep. three two. But yeah, like now now that he hasn't got the pal, um Okay, well now he's pushed it that way. It's, I guess he's just not going for it. But it, he could have gone for the fourth the four three mighty blow hit, couldn't he, if he'd done that if he'd done that hit first. Yeah. Don't know what about this guy? This guy can do a three two two. Yes, if it pushed it in front of that guy, there was a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2, two, two, that would have got him two dice still. Mm. So he's got lots but, of things in range, being... They're nippy, aren't they, Brett? So that's the thing, they are nippy. Yep. And particularly with the, uh, you know, the amount of blodge firm... Uh, blodge step on these knights, they... Uh, oh, so he does get there with the plus move piece. He's down to one reroll now, though. Gets yeah, the second reroll. Armor six goes in, gets him the pow. Gets the cars. Apo is coming, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely seeing the Apo on this. <laughs> but it is—it's a fifty percent chance to save it. It's gone. wow. Okay. So the Apo did not save it. Well. I mean, just about everybody in the prediction channel thought that uh, that KFO would have the advantage here. That advantage has just disappeared. Yes, it has. <laughs> I mean, the armor five is not really a thing. I mean, that would be fine if you get to the final. The problem yeah. now is winning this match and winning the next yeah. one. Both took a massive, a massive, a massive equity shift. <laughs> well, a huge change in equity there. Um, Absolutely. If I was I was K fold, I would consider dropping the good game. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm dropping the GG all day. There. That's definitely your best uh, your best equity move. <laughs> and now probably the rat's best hope for this game because the one turn is very much off the table. None of the rest of these gutters are really built to take advantage of a one turn. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not impossible, but it's now really unlikely against that much sidestep and even a stamp for um, you know, needing, needing three pushes. So that's uh, them both down to a single reroll. <laughs> and we are just about to enter the second half of turn four, so a lot of coaching to be done with not many rerolls on the table. So I think the rat's real strategy here is uh, is get a nice long drive done somehow, score at the end of this half. Perhaps not even resist in the second half that heavily, uh, and hope for the ball in overtime. Yeah. And that's not that easy because he, he like he can't really outrun these birds, can he? Because they're so fast. Very tough to do. I mean, he can outrun them, but not for long. Yeah, well, I guess, the, yeah. the field just isn't long enough to stay away for long, is it? Yeah, exactly. Um, and right now he's massively Ooh, exposed. Again. The Dubler skulls. Oh. Wow, okay. Well, Cor may have used his luck up for this particular uh, 
run at Chalice. Yeah, this is looking rough now. It's not a gimme. Any of the ones that can hit this gutter still have a dodge to do it. Um, so there's a one in nine could stop them. Yeah. And the, the knight's a little bit out of position to fully capitalise, but yeah. uh, he'll come with the blockers. Oh boy. <laughs> That's brilliant side of the field. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, you can you can tell you can tell that Martin scores easy as a playoff playoff. Uh, <laughs> Playoff experience with that. kvong has got to drop the early GG here. Only way back in. That's a, that's a great read. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> that experience now building up in Martin's uh, Martin's bank. I'm sure we're going to see him in the latter stages of Chalice again. So does he just blitz and base? Let's go for it. He goes for it. Rolls a one in nine. Yuck. It was tricky, that wasn't it? Because, like, if he just blitz and base, then then he's got this storm vermin who can just get you. If you uh, if you go for the dodge, obviously there's a one in nine chance of being completely exposed, which is gives him another free turn of stalling, doesn't it? Tricky. Yes, I mean, that said, you know, Amazons will take one in nines all day, won't they? And I, I don't think if you're any form of human um, in Blood Bowl, any form of human race, that's got to be something you fear. Um, you know, one in nines aren't going to happen. So you do your safe stuff first, and then you just you hope it isn't that. That just over 10% time, but it was. Yeah. I'm not sure that he can um, argue much. He, you know, he's had the nice dice, I would say, so far, so... Yes, he's <laughs> a little bit of reversal there isn't isn't that unfair, no. and to the game state makes it much better for us. The rats now look nailed to score this. Uh, I think they could definitely be stalling till seven, and knowing cause creativity, I'm pretty certain he'll now have a fairly safe turn eight score. Yeah, that was the that was the problem, wasn't it? Really, with that turn is that if you won in nine, your defense is almost over. So. I mean, that said, you know, the Knights are really quick. Uh, they may not be able to put direct pressure on in turn five, but by turn six, they should be able to. Yeah. yeah so I mean, a really got... key turn of positioning here and of block ordering and of what do you hit and what do you not. Yeah, I mean, wait. He's, got, he's just got to block with his blockers, hasn't he? Get his, get his blitzers down the field. This blitzer can block, free up the peasant who comes back, then this one can blitz, and then he's got... Okay, he hasn't done that. I, I really like blitzing. <laughs> Um, to get him up as well, so I guess now he's just going to blitz a gutter with one of these. I guess um, he's going to blitz this gutter. The tackle. T Man Taylor there has, uh, has written you a rough draft of what could possibly be your first email to the uh, Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> Chocolate Company. <laughs> uh, the Super Rat is dead, uh, I revel. It's not. It's it's lost another AG, AV point. So it's out of this game. It's out of the next game. And if it does make the final, it's going to be an AV5 gutter runner. Um, I felt it was a little incautious to leave it where it was. I didn't think the screen was solid enough from Cool. Uh, which is a little bit surprising. And he paid the full price. He paid the iron price for it. Yes. There you are. One for some of the nerds in chat to get excited about. <laughs> yes, yeah, some people love to say that, don't they? Yeah, I really like putting the putting the peasant here, and then blitzing with the blitzer, like you know, so that even if you push, he's he's tagged, isn't he, on the peasant, and he's not going to be able to hit one of your three blitzers in in the way of the ball. I really like that, but he, you know, hitting a hitting a gutter is really good, isn't it, as well? So it's not like, it's not like that's wrong or anything. No. And, you know, there is still the plan of, you know, there may be a lot of rats, but if you get on top of them, you can clear out the whole nest. Mm. Does he, he is giving up this Z. I, I wouldn't have been giving up this hit on him, and he gets cast. Yeah. <laughs> and in comes the apple, obviously, instant there on the battle here. I mean, it, it may only be Mighty Blow, that rat, but it's another one with a hidden skill. Uh, this time, obviously, it being Triple Claw. <laughs> Killed a dwarf of mine on its uh, 
just about only hit. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't yeah, I mean, I hope Cyber is uh, still feeling I'm the positive side here because that is an AD8 that's not taken out just I will that's a little unlucky. The one in nine fail was also a little unlucky. The full on showboating score. Box, He's gone in early. Morning. He decided he couldn't stall this up. Wow. Yeah, surprising. Um, and with the Bretts this fast uh, and this mobile, I think giving them three turns is. Uh, Optimistic. He's looking for a good kickoff result here, I think. I think it's, it's yeah, Kfog does have kick. He was benched, so he's definitely got him for this drive. Yep. Yeah. Huge equity shift. <laughs> um, and thank you very much, Prankster Van, for staying fantastic for nearly two full years. Absolutely glorious. I'm not going to send them one of my tours in a box. No. <laughs> Oh man, imagine if they made chocolate tours, that would be amazing. Would be brilliant. Huge equity, very good. He's uh, the if, Frankly, of if Hugh it was a foot-shaped Jimmy Fantastic chocolate bar, I'd be on a plane to Croatia now, <laughs> despite the Covid restrictions. That I'd have to have it. <laughs> You've had Cadbury's cream eggs, what about Jimmy Fantastic cream toes? <laughs> uh, in huge. case you didn't spot it popping through the chat, Jimmy, apparently more Plovac is Croatian. Oh, wow. So there is a Blood Bowl coach that we can uh, trouble to hit you up for some uh, some posted Jimmy Fantastics. Glorious. Uh, <laughs> Dio, oh, you've missed so much, it's so hard to recap. Um, he did try the withdrawn offence a little bit, didn't perhaps withdraw enough. Uh, the, the Bretts came rowdy into his backfield, uh, pushing a lot of their knight strength forward. Uh, Core tried a side swap. Uh, and I mean, if anything, the Bretts massively overcommitted to, to pressuring the backfield. The Rats all came back, uh, looked like a big scrum. Core ran away, but not quite far enough, and left, I think, at least three of the Knights in blitzing range, uh, using various yeah. dice combinations. Yep, three. Uh, a couple of them didn't work out for Cyber, but Cyber did manage to get there on two go for it. Uh, has put a serious injury on the AV on the AG6, the gutter runner that now will not be in this game or the next game. Uh, Apo gave him a different serious injury to choose from. Uh, and then the Bretts did a lot of failing. Um, the Rats managed to run the ball up the field because they couldn't store in the back, uh, stall in the backfield anymore. And despite perhaps another turn or two of stalling looking to be on, Core chose to go in on turn six, giving the Bretts three to drive back. But as Jimmy pointed out, the kick means that the, uh, the ball has gone very, very deep. So there will need to be a pass if the Bretts do plan to drive this home. And of course, the rats really hoping for a huge equity swing here, something that can get them a turnover touchdown, where they can just run away for the second. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he got minus AV, so he's he was already AV six, so now he'll be he'll, now he will have higher agility than armor value. <laughs> Fantastic! I'm not sure I've ever seen a piece with that before. <laughs> Of course, we won't either, because I have a feeling now that the core is not going to dominate this game. Yeah, I mean, I think the inevitability has, has shifted to Cybernite now. I mean, yes, that said, it's still rats. They've still got three gutters. They can still do some extraordinary things, but it's just that real edge piece that you thought was going to hand in just at some moment of beautiful. I mean, AG6 can do things that aren't one turning as well. But that's gone. That's no longer in the picture. Massive. Ooh, yeah, very disappointing line of scrimmage for, for Cyber there. Two AV7 hits, taking down Rats, but not even a stun out of it. I wonder if more Plovac has made this himself. <laughs> the Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Bar. It, it would be the greatest, greatest troll ever if he has. <laughs> um, but it, there's just too much of it, Jimmy. He, he didn't need that much to do that joke. A single couple of pages would have done, but it's... It's amazing. <laughs> this stops now. <laughs> Your move, PC. <laughs> uh. oh, oh, no, I'm going to get a face ache from laughing if I think about Rebel. 
I uh, know. Well, I mean, uh, one should mock them. Their great and starry name is uh, obviously one of the greatest brands on earth. Absolutely, yeah. Should not be taken lightly. No. Oh, he's failed the three plus. Only one reroll. No way he's rerolling that. Amazingly, he stays on the field. But we might see a bit of a breakthrough now. This right hand side very weak for PTK. You could see a hand yeah, up, couldn't we? Absolutely, yes. I hadn't, hadn't turned my screen around, but you're absolutely right. I was thinking the left looks weak. What is he talking about? The map? <laughs> um, you're absolutely right. The right now looks incredibly thin. Or, the, I mean, the slight hole up the, the line of scrimmage. Um, yeah, yeah. Where, where the fail comes. You've only got to get one little push there, and that's uh, that's wide open. Yeah. A gaping hole, you might say. Yeah, I certainly would. <laughs> but not if I was playing Rebel, because that sort of humour isn't welcome there. <laughs> I've, I've got no idea what kind of humour you mean. Uh, I just meant there was a gaping hole. <laughs> Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the I betrayed my real thoughts there by the chuckle. <laughs> Pushes on your knees, isn't it? He's going to get a little, I... a little, uh, yep, 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 he's, he's doing it all right. There is a GFI required from this peasant, that's the only bad thing. But he can do that after getting the ball over there, potentially. I, I don't think we need a telly yet, but he's the beautiful and tasty shell. Inside of Jimmy, fantastic, there's a soft centre. <laughs> Okay, so he's pushed through with a nice screen, so if this fails, there's still some sort of defense on the ball, taking it sidestep and nice and near the edge. But he still doesn't have to necessarily worry about the ball bouncing right on the edge because of the sidestep. But just every space away from this uh, this juggernaut blitzer is uh, a space gained that's worth having. Yeah. Now, surely the block has got to stop there. He's not going to risk a go for it before the peasant moves, is he? No, no, the, no. the peasant's the risk, isn't it? He? he just wanted something yeah. there. Case he, I guess he's not really doing this. Yeah. And he can he can bring the uh, he can dodge this guy away as well, can't he? And make it screened yeah. as well as the cage. One in nines again. Oof. Well, I mean, what a what a credible game! I mean, what classic blood bowl we've had. Just fails and wonderful opportunities that need those re rolls. So this is the sort of Blood Bowl I, I like to watch. Some good coaching, but yeah, just a lot of the randomness that makes Blood Bowl what it is on top of all of that. Mm. Of course, it's going to be incredibly stressful for the two coaches, but fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Blitzer could have actually double GFI'd and tagged the, uh, tagged the Rackle Gutter, so then he would have had a screen and a tag with tackle and it would have been all sorts of trouble but I mean he can get yep. through here pretty easily now uh, it's just gonna be yeah. Wandy, isn't it? yeah there's definite ways in but yeah oh, I mean, with the two heads you can always get there disgusting okay it's not just gonna be a 1D it's gonna be a 2D easily easily a 2D because yeah I, for, I, I forget that he's uh, the Dauntless will fire because yes it's already failed once and uh, Core doesn't let things fail twice yeah. And just easy, isn't it, with the two heads? You can just yeah. come in. Yeah, I mean, I did I did point out that the AG6 was a beautiful piece, but these two two-headed gutters can do some lovely things as well. Yep. But if he doesn't get the pow, he's in a lot of trouble, but he's got a reroll for it. Yeah. And as it's turn eight, that's, you know, that's all it's there for, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I thought I would have put it, I would have put it in tight. Um, yeah, I would, I would have personally I would have had the the, the peasant in tight. Uh. Yeah, I thought the the sort of the northwest space next to the ball was probably the one to go for. And if you were screening far out, yeah. then I absolutely agree with you, Pedro. Then I think you need to do the second step as well. Yeah. And the problem with that is that you know, two heads gutters can just wander through that hole in the. So I'm with Jimmy. I actually would have preferred it tight on the ball carrier. Yep. Just because then, without getting the you know the guard gutter in, which uh, 
it was never going to happen because it's um, down just behind that cage. That was really hard to get that one in and it doesn't have two heads. Then even with the Dauntless firing, a one die probably was the best you could hope for. Mm. I mean, I might even have stood him just directly straight in front of the ball carry. Um, oh. But the, the north square and the northwest square would have been the two hardest you could have. Oh, he's, he's fucked now. <laughs> well, yeah. Who needs two heads or agility six? Just, just AV4. Easy game. Yeah. AG4, sorry. <laughs> just got to think. Right, so now his players. Three plus dodge with dodge. Five plus. I could 1D there. I could 1D here. Somehow. Yep, he's got it. Like, he's got a real still now, he hasn't. So you can, uh, you can 1D here. Maybe. No, you can 2D here, actually. You can 2D here. Power him. And then he can, uh, he can run through. Hit the ball on two dice. Power him. And then this guy just. Four. Uh, five, four, threes through and double GFI scores. Easiest touchdown of his life. Guaranteed. It's a plan, and, you know, a bad plan is much better than no plan at all. I mean, there was a, a lovely Dionysian play the other day. Um, I think I talked about it in the last game. We had to do a 5 plus, and then a, I think a 5 plus pick up, followed by two red dice, followed by a 3 plus dodge off. And uh, the opponent was not very happy when it worked. But as it was the only play that worked, it was inevitable that a decent coach would try it. Um, and then you can't really moan if just occasionally those, uh, those long shots come off, because if people try them, sometimes they work. I needed the power, didn't he? That's disappointing. Yeah, it, it certainly would have helped. Um, that was just a one yeah. Get to the wrestle, though! Oh, the perfect bounce! Unbelievable, Jeff! <laughs> yep. Now, as you said, it is just a... Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I was going to say, there's no dodge on these because of tackle. Yeah. <laughs> but what a scatter it was. He got that little bit of sliver of hope, didn't he? Yes, indeed. I always say, when Pandora opened the box and let all the evils out into the world, the story goes that to compensate him, she found at the bottom of the box hope. And that was supposed to be the balancer for us. I've always thought hope was the worst of the evils she found in the box. <laughs> <laughs> the hope that kills you, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Little slivers of hope arrive at moments like that, only need to be dashed by the dice of Nuffle. <laughs> exactly, thank you, Darkest Dung. That is the Dionysian play. Oh, uh, Kilomotronics. Uh, clipped by Darkest Dung. That is the Dionysian play I was talking about, which I thought was fantastic. Um, that's exactly what he should have done. Uh, it worked, and no one had a right to complain. I... Kilmatronics, I am apologising. I'm in your debt. That was a, a lovely link that you dropped. I'm far too lazy to go looking for it, so thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic is a citizen of the world. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. Do Obama. Can you do an Obama impression, PC? I can, but I, as was discussed earlier with the certain gentleman asking for it, <laughs> um, I do not believe a gentleman of my ethnicity should be casually doing impressions of black people. Uh, I think that nowadays is, uh, is seen as quite toxic. There you go. So if I was going to do it, I would want it to be paid, and I'd want to spend some time professionally working on it before I did it. So whereas I'll drop into... You know, party accents. <laughs> no, I'm a Yorkshire accent. I don't mind rolling that out. <laughs> Michelle and Bean at the drop of a hat. Hey, up the blades. <laughs> Just because I die in every film doesn't mean they don't pay me. Um, <laughs> there are limits, uh, and I think that is one of them. A taste limit I'm going to impose there. <laughs> yes, of course there are, Jim. Um, but specifically, Obama is nothing other, is he? Uh, there are there's no uh, Obamas that are not black ex presidents of America. Yeah, and I, I just think that's not something I want to be messing with uh, right now. 
fair enough. Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Just scrolling up a tiny bit, um, Pedro Jack. Uh, if you did not have a classical education about the uh, the great and storied histories of both uh, Greek and Roman mythology, um, all I can say is I'm sorry. Uh, do go and Google Pandora uh, and the box, and uh, a great story and tale is awaiting you. As long as you've got safe search on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Otherwise, Pandora's box could bring up some very interesting results. Couldn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hadn't considered that. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Humorous, I, I no, am I old enough that when I was a student until uh, I'm music victorious in WA and, and I will was, defend. Uh, was a I will force defend. Country. I still have a lot of it on my iPod. Subbed for a dimmy impression. <laughs> Thanks for that, Enzo. A dimmy impression. There you go. I, I can do it. Give <laughs> I'm Dimmy G. I'm the, I'm the champ. I'm the coming force in Bloodbath. <laughs> Just I'm from Essex doesn't mean I'm still in Essex, does it? <laughs> it was Bazza! <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. Mm. He's got two bribes now, Cybernite, and a dirty player. Yeah. K Fog does not and have a dirty player. Absolutely, getting on top of these rats is a nice way now to you know to try and make overtime less worrying if they do get the ball. Ooh, spicy dubs there, and decides to eat it. <laughs> He's eaten it, but we could see a huge foul coming in now, couldn't we? I, oh boy! If we don't, I want my money back. <laughs> yep. uh, that, that piece demands fouling at this moment. Yes, much like the Jake Paul fight last night, even though no one's paying for it, that everybody wants their money back. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yeah, I mean we have been distracted, Ducky. You're right, but uh, it has been a fantastic match of Blood Bowl so far. One that, I, as I said before, I think we'll be stressing both the coaches now. There's been some really big fails on both sides. Uh, I'm going to go as far as to say a coaching mistake from Core. Yeah. Uh, he's now going to point out to me at great length why it wasn't. <laughs> uh, probably with diagrams. We may even have to watch a replay together. But um, I'm going to stand by that. I think he left that uh, that AVAG6 gutter too exposed. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, you could say just a tactical, like a strategical error or whatever, like, you know, whether it was a mistake on that turn or just the whole drive, because it was just too easy, oh. wasn't it? I'm going to hate, hate myself for saying this. He should have done a better withdrawn offense. He should have withdrawn <laughs> further back to pull the Bretonians even further forwards. Yeah, maybe. And he, he just showed a bit too much leg. They got massively up in his his grill came down his ends with the fam dem <laughs> uh, it was not dench <laughs> oh dear <laughs> and despite core you know backing out and running away to the other side he didn't run quite far enough we counted at least three knights that were in range to, uh, to get two die on the ball uh, mm. depending on various other blocks and plans and sure enough that came off killing his best hope um, and almost nicking his ball. Uh, but the rats ratted it away, scored a little bit early, left Cyber Knight enough turns to uh, to have a good chance at scoring. There came the huge foul, and gets the removal. It's only a BH, but it's out for the game, and yep. you get a feeling that could be out for the run. Yeah, I think this is um, this is really looking like K-Fog's last match, isn't it? It's How's he going to turn the tide here? Well, well I mean, the hope lies in the uh, in the two-headed gutters, doesn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah, just those can still do AG5 there. dodges all day long. Uh, and as I said, if he now just stays down, it's only fodder that's going to get kicked in the face. Mm. So I think the gutters may actually disappear into the Bretonian backfield forcing the ball forwards and then they'll probably just stay there away from the danger let him score and see if he gets the ball in overtime it's not easy for them to do that though is it as well like, this is the... no I mean if, if he does try that then I think the, the Bretonians will secure the ball move it up the field you know carefully but they'll have enough over to send a, a hunting party out after the gutters yeah, just is... a couple of nights can uh, probably do that job now that the uh, the nasty tackle piece is gone for the rats there's very little for them to fear Except this uh, this dauntless gutter, and if that's hitting you, there's a limit to how far it can run. <laughs> oh, another big dodge fail there off tackle. Can't re-roll it. Really needs to keep those dry for if he has got the ball in overtime. Now we're going to see a mighty blow hit on a gutter. The other gutter fouled. Yeah. The dirty player. Oh boy. Three, four, five, six. Yep, it, it one go for it, and it can put the foul in on the, the gutter that's down. Uh, depending where the one you're hitting goes, that could even be easier. He it could, it could foul. He can foul the guard without uh, without GFI. Yep, I mean any of those are lovely options, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, so he's putting him in there, so we can hit him and get three D. Oops. Yeah. It's a, yeah, that's a little bit greedy, but it's it's nice. Really is. Um, if you read one of three D with my equal, he wanted the three D on the gutter. That was the point, wasn't it? Yeah. And of course, the frenzy meant he had six dice on it. Yeah. With my equal, so yeah, I think if he didn't have that hit lined up, he would have just eaten that. But... And now I think the foul has to come on the guard gutter. Yeah, I don't think you can risk the go for it. You really want to get that foul in. Um, you can still use a couple of assists, and it's all fine. So I think that's what we're going to see. Oh, ducky foul! <laughs> what a pair of ducky fouls this half, isn't it? Holy shit! He's fouled the two guard players, the gutter and the storm vermin, has them both. Got caught for them both, but he's got the bribe. He's used both bribes, so like it's not it's not as it's not insanely lucky, but um, it's brutal, isn't it? This has got to be gutting for PC now. Uh, yeah, of course, the fast to see can't one turn now. I think that's fair, but I mean, you can win the coin toss for overtime and two turn, can't you? Potentially. I don't know where PC's gone, but uh. Did I say PC? PTK, I meant, yeah. I meant PTK. PCK. <laughs> Not bad. Wow. <laughs> you know, some people, some people uh, take the piss out of Dimmy, but Dimmy just comes back with no bad. <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, it's really interesting. It, it does, it does seem that PTK has done the wrong thing in the first half. Now, what the right thing is, I don't know. But it it sure seems like he's found the wrong. He found the wrong thing. <laughs> if this guy had been there. He could have made a loose a loose cage. But I guess it's not going to bother. And I guess it's better to just stay away from him anyway, isn't it? Because this guy's still a threat at the moment. Yeah, linemen aren't really a threat, are they? So, so just stay away from the... Yeah. <sighs> 
Yeah, I mean, it was always going to be tough, right? Hello, Mackie. It was always going to be tough because of the, uh, you know, because of the four dudes that are, like, nearly as fast as you, that are stronger with lodge step and tackle. Like, it, you know, the, the four the four blitzers are real, real, really tough for, for k -Fog to deal with. Yeah, the, the, the kickoff uh, really helped. Oh, thanks, Cocky. I don't know where PC is. He must be just AFK. Oh, no, he's, he's back now. I'm back now. Sorry, front doorbell rang. No worries. Um, the, 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 oh, there's a power. Yeah, but both people have used their apples. Um, k -Fog okay, used look, it on his gutter. Looks like the foul on the uh, on the guard gutter produced some results. <laughs> Did you? He cast him. <laughs> Oof, this is getting very, very tough for the Rats to see a way forwards here, isn't it? Even if they get the overtime ball, it's it's the the two-headed gutters are going to have to do a lot of work if they're still alive. Yep. And there's a uh, there's no. And he did use his second bribe though, fouling the. Right. Do you go for the Rackley? I guess he's not going to get you, is he? So he, he could though. He could. I guess the sure hands because. K Fog's chances winning the toss and, and two turning, isn't it? Yeah. So I guess, yeah, going for the two heads is, yeah, the sure hands is the. I mean, Cyber's still got the uh, the fame advantage, isn't he? Yeah, he's still got the plus one fame, he's still got a babe. Um, but actually, he's not suffering any attrition at all because <laughs> K Fog, of course, not really in a position to hit back at the moment. <laughs> the bird sound effect. Kor does have uh, two bribes, but again, you can't really see him wanting to use them urgently. No. no it, 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 honestly, and it seemed like it seemed like Cyber overcommitted, if anything, didn't it, that turn early in the first half? But obviously, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yes, I, I thought so a little, um, but it, it produced the result. Um, I mean, perhaps Kor thought so, and he, he, I thought, took hiding from that assault a little casually. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. It would be interesting to watch that turn again, I guess. I guess that was the crucial oh. turn. And obviously the turn leading up to it. But that, in particular that turn, because that was where Cyber's, like, aggressiveness came up with it, didn't it? Yeah. And, I mean, yes, it was, a, I thought, an overcommitment. But, you know, as I, I think we said at the time, if the, um, you know, if the rats managed to spring it and zoom forwards... Um, you only buy yourself a couple of turns against Bretonians. They are so fast and mobile. Mm. So perhaps he thought, even if this, even if he outflanks me here and runs past, it's not the end of the world. Mm. Well, that, was very, that was very interesting. So obviously, I mean, after two removals on the LOS, that 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 is that was a huge. <laughs> although we joke about it, it was a huge equity swing, wasn't it? No, it really was. And then, so for them to have. Uh, and that just happened on the first turn, didn't it? Then there was all the pressure from Cyber, and then it was k second turn. It was maybe he should have played differently, I guess. I definitely think so. I think much more priority on, on stabilising, just finding a cage somewhere, and then looking to break forward in the couple of turns after that. Um, there was a little bit of hitting, I seem to recall, that turn, that I thought at the time that's quite rowdy. Um, but as you said, he also had some pieces looking very trapped that I think he wanted to try and get back into the game. But I, I just, you know, we, we both thought that that AG6 was just way too exposed. There were several ways of getting to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is basically impossible, isn't it? I mean, he might be able to get a push. It's really hard to see him getting two pushes, isn't it? With, it with so, yeah, with I mean, so it, few players. It, with the AG6 and the two two heads pieces, I could have seen him, you know, filling the holes around one of these side steppers and getting that one push he needed. Yeah. But without them... Uh, you know, the two two heads pieces can go where you want, but then you've got nothing to push. Yeah. I, I just don't see this getting done. No, I think he just sets up for Riot and hopes yeah. for the best. I mean, even with a frenzy piece needing you know, three pushes is... Uh, well, no, two pushes, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. Right? But still... But I think it's impossible. I think it's literally impossible. I um, just think he... Yeah, I think he lacks the numbers. Yeah. I'm not sure it's... Impossible. I think it's just really, really, really difficult. But I, you know, if if it can be done, Core will know how. 
I, th I think it's probably <coughs> impossible just because there's, you know, with size stuff, so, you've got to fill like so many squares. I just, I just think it's genuinely impossible. However, I guess it's technically not impossible because he could choose to not use side step. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I think yeah, I think the blitz ruins it. Yes, there's, yeah. there's a piece here that obviously he's hitting, and then it definitely isn't a problem. Yeah. Uh, I think the way Core set up, he also was set for the riot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I think that was him. If he uses side step, it's impossible. I'm confident in that assessment. Just just on how many players he needed to fill all the squares. Yeah. It was, it was, he needs so many players. I think on a quick snap it might have been if you'd set oh, them all up yeah. exactly in the right places because yeah. then you can have four that you don't need to move until you've done the first hit. Yeah. Um, and you can hit him sideways rather than back across the line of scrimmage. But then if you... Yeah. Yeah, and get, get the one push that you need yeah yeah um, so yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah quick snap possible fair enough <laughs> clever pc and i think he yeah i think that setup actually would have meant that a quick snap he could have adopted into that shape but a riot he was very set for yeah uh, but that was the right piece to hit yep. so now it definitely can't be done in any way i mean it almost certainly couldn't have before gets to hit something he's got no tackle at all so he's got no way to deal with these four these four um try and think of a word to call them <laughs> good players <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> the nice pieces yeah no, i'm going to continue to use pieces i don't care if people like it or not that's how i've always thought of them towers of power that's what i was trying to think of ah uh, yes Tower of power, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey. Ooh, yeah. I'm lost and slightly frightened. Macho man, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Nowadays, when I think of towers of power, I think of American Ninja Warrior. Mm. There were two firemen who I think used to train together and style themselves as the towers of power. Mm. Ever get into your American Ninja Warrior, Jim? I didn't know. No. I... Oh missed out there. <laughs> I watched the original a little bit and I watched the UK one a little bit but I never got into the American one. And it was just like the uh, original and the UK one except with an enormously larger amount of arrogance. <laughs> Which is hard because <laughs> there's yeah. an impressive amount of arrogance on display in the UK one. Well here we go. This is it, isn't it? Who wins this toss? Yeah. Oh, if PC Huge game here. Yeah, if PTK wins this, he's in with a chance. If he doesn't, I think he's... Uh, shit. Well, spoilers, I don't know if I'm slightly ahead of you, but... Oh. It is a Bretonian ball. Yeah, this is looking bad for k -Fog. There's still a lot of kickoff results that uh, that could be nice here. Obviously, a blitz would be uh, extremely useful. Uh, we could feasibly see a pitch invasion help but the fact is that the, the fans are on cyber Knight's side <laughs> yeah. get diced yeah i mean i think k fog is i mean he's definitely had the worst of the dice but you know a lot of it was his own doing wasn't it with, uh, with yeah. the loose cage so he, he can't yeah. really have any complaints about no. well, I mean, I, I know he won't, but you know what I mean, like. <laughs> and we can also we can also point to that one in nine for a fairly simple ball sack that uh, that went bad for Cyber. Yeah, yeah. Um, although I, you know, I didn't like we didn't like the shape that Cyber pulled on the uh, the attempt to drive back at the end of the first half. Yeah. That uh, that screen just never looked like holding up. No. Um. A screen door in a hurricane. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> yes, there are quite a few rats on the pitch, um, Lee and Gary, but mostly reasonably terrible ones. Um, now that still has its use. You know, I, I when I'm playing, I always keep a, a count in my head of just where the raw numbers are at. I've said that before, um, because you know the crappiest piece in Blood Bowl can still tie up a very good piece if it's positioned nicely. So raw numbers do come into it, but I, I would certainly, uh, I'd rather have the Bretonian team right now uh, than the rat team, all other things being equal. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's still got... Because, yeah, good pieces just tend to do better in Blood Bowl. That's, <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah. And he's, he's lost, like, three of the good ones, and he's left yes. two good ones. <laughs> he's lost none of the good ones, so he's left yes. with four great ones uh, and two good ones. Exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. So, yeah, it's real bad. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's in the Discord, uh, Sick as Eggs. Uh, there is a channel maintained now by Volcayo, who posts all when the games are going to be on, and if people, you know, if they're going to be casted live and everything. So, there you go. All the updates. Uh, uh. Join the, the Jimmy Fantastic Blood Bowl streamer Discord, not the Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Discord. That won't tell you anything about CCL. <laughs> now, I'm... I'm... I wasn't that impressed with this setup. Um, he may have called it an anti blitz or anti perfect defense. I wouldn't have been worried about the perfect defense, only about the blitz. Yeah. I didn't think it was blitz stable enough. I really didn't. Um, so the fact that that hasn't happened, uh, we've got a, a particularly uh, tedious uh, kickoff <laughs> result, um, is, is incredibly good for Cyber Knight. Yeah. He does still have to be worried about getting sacked by these two heads and one of them dauntless scutters. Uh, which is why we're seeing that uh, double skinned elf wall there, right ahead of where the ball is. Yep. And again, I think it's a turn where every move should be prioritizing stability of the drive. Yeah. Uh, for me, there's perhaps a, I mean, a little bit too much hitting already. I would love to see the third knight blitz off the final piece on the line of scrimmage rather than... Uh, Trying to find a fourth hit this turn. I'm not sure that's needed. No, yeah, I, I didn't like the follow. I did just you know, nope. uh, blitz. And... Problem is, he's got frenzy, right? So you basically have to power first hit. But he's still got a blitz. Yeah, he's still blitzing. Good lad. Gets his blitz and gets to recover that knight into a more useful position. Huge. No. Him. Not that it matters. Really. Yeah, I'm not sure that play. matters a damn. It's. You know, I mean, it does to the raw numbers again, but it's not a piece that uh, that Corsi is solving any problems for him. And now he's got this guy as a, as a kind of a safety, which is brilliant, isn't it? Because he's got frenzy and <laughs> tackle and mighty blows. He's a great, he's a great gutter killer. Oh, he's failed the pick up though, and the ball goes to the ground. Ooh. Well, well, the crowd aren't doing them rats any favours though. Um, no. There's better places it could be, like in a Bretonian's hands, but there are worse places too. Oof. Now, Core has good. got to find a way to come for this ball, hasn't he, with his uh, with his two-headed rats? Yeah, that could have literally gone back to behind the Skaven team. <laughs> there was a chance. It could have it could have gone, you know, down this way, then up that way, and then up that way. So it literally, yep. it literally could have come come back to the rats completely but even just diagonally that way would have been maybe two. yeah yeah i mean it's 2d6 isn't it so on a 9 10 11 12 it's right up into the pack and probably yeah the rats have it mm -hmm. <coughs> of course not a lot you could do about that uh, we talked about this earlier as a any sort of human based roster if your one in nines failed they fail uh, so at least cyber built that nice safe wall up ahead of the ball kept the line of scrimmage more or less intact to provide that real strong barrier. <laughs> Core won't have been happy with the result there. I know he took the piece down with Russell, but <clears throat> yeah, the fact that he put the assist in ahead of it now makes the route through for these two-headed rats just not as easy as he'd have liked it to be. No, he's got to put in the reward here. Pump yeah. in the reward. Hence Instead of going through the hole he tried to create, he's uh, he's picked the one that was already there. Yeah. He's got the ball. But has got the ball. Naked go for it there, but uh, they needed to get done, so they got done. Had a re-roll on the pickup, of course, because it's sure hands. But, um, but yeah, it's can... also sidestep, so... Uh, you can't frenzy it into anything. Uh, you can't even use the one on the sideline to push it onto the frenzy. It will almost certainly choose not to sidestep there. Yep. But you can three dice it on the first. Hit. Oh. Yeah, you can probably pull the two, afford to bring the two peasants back, can't you? Yeah, well, not now. <laughs> now you're going to no. just have to two dice it. Oh, God, look at this! 
Oh my god! Wow, that's <laughs> filtherous. Absolutely filthy play there. Uh, but, it, you know, it was a good plan and it worked. If it hadn't worked, the fail state wasn't that terrible, was it? No. One no. more rat on the ground or dead, clearing a peasant that you didn't really need to have nailed down. So it had to be tried, but it's disgusting that it worked. Yeah. So now the question is, do you just go for the 2D with tackle rather than with a frenzy? Because the frenzy well, then how do you recover, done. Jim? You've got still going to be at recover. least one gutter on its feet right yeah. next to where the ball is. But you've got to show hands to recover. You can, the move 8 can blitz. The move yeah. 8 could just come and blitz. Yeah, yeah. You're right, yes. You blitz with the move 8, you keep the one on the side sideline dry for now, don't you? Yeah. But then you're going to be, I mean, well, or you depending on the scatter, the, the sidestep is presumably going to be forwards and in front of the other gutter runner. Yeah. So you could go, like, you could still go for the dodge just because Friends is really good, couldn't you? It's only a 1 in 9 affair, like. It is, it's fantastic to have 4 dice on it without needing a reroll. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so but it's another 1 in 9. He's been bitten by 1 in 9s enough this match that I wonder if he's 1 in 9 shy. Yep. yep gets, so the power. gets the power, comes with the fast piece, the sidestep's crucial, exactly the spot I thought it would go to. Ooh. Oh, but a wonderful scatter for the Bretonians. Away from the other gutter runner. That is a one in nine pickup. And he's got a rudimentary cage to go into as well, hasn't he? He does. It's a based cage, Jim. We all know those are terrible. But <laughs> it's much better than just standing out in the open and waiting for a dauntless gutter runner to hit you. Yeah. Um, and there is another peasant that can come back and get involved, isn't there? And that's yeah. before any silly dodges. So it does. He's not just been on the screen. Why has the peasant gone there? I'm yeah, confused. That's I'm a little not... confused. Oh. Oh, I like... I like of course, Frenzy in. pulling that primitive cage shape apart. Yeah. Talked before about why I'm not a huge lover of Frenzy. Yeah, I much preferred having having the uh, having the peasant up as a cage corner. Yeah. Instead, I think he's running up between these two. Yep. Yeah, and it's a cage. godless eye cage. Yeah, absolutely, Skuro. I mean, it, it's been really well coached throughout this. Well, I say that. It's been pretty well coached throughout. I think there's been a couple of notable errors from both sides, uh, which surprises me, given the level these two guys normally play at. But it's been entertaining every single turn. Yeah. Possible to take your eyes off and less reading about Jimmy Fantastic the chocolate bar. <laughs> yep. Which Ducky had the good graces to point out we were doing far too much of uh, in a totally supportive and non-toxic way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Skuro. I think we both feel that was hugely key. Um, and I've said before an error, but if I keep saying it, I, it's going to be hours of him telling me why it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. And especially as he was just so good, wasn't he? You know, like if, yeah. he, if he'd left it so that he needed a 4 3 2 2, you're still going to go for it because if you're near sure. him. You, you win the game, basically. So it was... Yeah, and the fail state was, was fine, because if the rats score on their drive, that's what you expect anyway. Um, and if you fail deep in their backfield, you still have plenty of other pieces that could run back if they then choose to push forward. It, it just, it was a, there was a no consequence chance, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah that was the thing. Because I know, I know you like how you say about the dangling the leg and everything, and there's, there's lots of times where it would be an unwise move to go for and stuff, but you're just always going to take that chance against such an incredible yeah. player. So I think it's exactly great. that one. I didn't see there was an upside to it. Uh, I would have wanted it much more secure. And as we said before, you know, there's there's dangling a leg and then there's flashing your knickers. It's <laughs> you've got to get the line right. Yep. Another wow. dead rat. Now this is looking real good. For, I mean, it was already looking good for Cyber, but now it's looking done, isn't it? Yeah. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Well, I mean, I think that, that dauntless hit on the ball carrier there was his, probably his last best shot. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it retreat to the point where it, it might be able to get in and try it again next turn, but you have a feeling it's going to be, have some guard around it by then. Yeah. And if it doesn't, there's questions to be asked as to why the hell not. Yeah. 
He's still got three rerolls cyber, so he doesn't even have to like play crazy conservative or anything, does he? No. No, and the, and the rats are now getting so short numbered that um, very, very difficult to see them even, you know, cancelling enough assists to get in for a dauntless one die. So, nope, no knockdown here, though. Yeah, and he's chosen to sidestep into a dangerous position, of course, just to tie another piece down uh, away from the ball. I've got to say, I don't like the way Cyber's played this. No, I, I wasn't sure that was the square the ball should have gone to. If it was, then this is this a blitz, surely? So the guard, no? No, no, the blitz, the blitz is going to blitz with a mighty ball. But, oh god. Yeah, he's not sidestep crucially. Oh, he gets wrestled! Oh, dear! Yeah, well, I think once he's done that, he's just got to hit directly forward with a blocker, hasn't he? And then free the free the guard blitzer. I thought that was the play once he'd done that, and then he didn't. I thought that turn was terrible, Jim. Yep. I, I, I can't lie to you. And I think this hit's terrible, too. Yep. Um, <laughs> I, uh, leave it there, for goodness sake. Your odds of knocking it over are small. The odds of promoting it to a better position are large. <laughs> this is... This is the dice of fail, and these are the plans of desperation. He didn't need any of that. No. I mean, I, I didn't hate just, instead of the blitz, just put that, that frenzy piece in the square it started the hitting from. You know, close the cage up and just stand on that gutter runner. Say, all right, if you're dodging in for a, you know, a, a one die, you're going to have to cancel first, and I've got your other gutter in an eye cage, which is only two plus two plus, but one of them's without a reroll. Mm -hmm. But it does just add just tiny more fractions of dice that make things tough. Yeah. And this is now, from a position of utter, utter despair, um, there's there's glimmers of hope again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's that. Um, yeah. One or two, twice. Yeah. Ducky's won it once with Brett, and Ducky's lost to Brett as well in the final. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Team and uh, uh, yes, sideline cages are possible. The problem is with. Uh, two head gutters they can come in from both sides of a sideline cage um, and then you're served or if you leave a space in the middle of the cage then it, it's just not very far oh, what's... Okay, he's doing that that way. I actually liked the square two to the right of where the ball carrier ended up um, and then there were already you know three people in front of it lots of guard around it you just had to reinforce the back edge mm. I thought the square he chose to try and stall it was just terrible yeah, really weird. Um, but, I mean, he must have had a plan that then fell apart. And any plan that needs, you know, really good dice to be good when you're in this dominant position is probably not a good plan. No, exactly. However, he did, uh, he did not manage to take the ball away. Uh, the lack of re-rolls there, meaning that he uh, just didn't get it. No. <laughs> now Cyber's got another chance to shore everything up and easily get the ball protected and easily shut down Kfog. Will he or will he not? I mean, he could, he could, yeah, I think he's going to go for the surf here, isn't he? You can make this a really safe cage, like, really easily, can't he? You can make this a really safe cage. Yeah, I mean, he can do what he wants. He could actually move, you know, at three, four, five spaces down the pitch and still be safe if he wants to. But I think after last turn, I think just stabilize yeah yeah for sure stabilize. take a breath and worry about moving forwards next turn you've got the time you've got the re-rolls you're well on top of this other team just stop taking terrible decisions and it should all be fine <laughs> yep i mean i, I don't want to call it terrible jim i mean i, I love <laughs> cyber knight i've been really impressed with his brett coaching when i've played him but it's been a couple of turns that just haven't been at the level I think he's capable of here. Yeah, I think his arse fell out a bit towards the end, but he's 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 uh he's definitely consolidated here, hasn't he? He's done like pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, that's right that's a here. nice solid turn. Yeah. You know, one more rat just not there. That's always good. A nice solid cage around it. Plenty of guards. So even if anything comes in, there's definitely going to be a guard there. Nothing basing it. That's that's a nice solidification, and we worry about everything else next time. On the winner of this play is Ducky. Mm.
So yeah, that, that, I mean that's interesting, isn't it? So like these again, these these Burt's Burt Blitzers are pretty decent against Vamps, aren't they? They've got the Dauntless to hit them, and they're they're fast, and they've all got tackle on them to to take, yep. to take away their tackle, their dodge rerolls. So. so I mean, I think both these teams have ways of beating Ducky's Vamps. Um, I mean, one of them is just exist long enough and wait for the Vamps to beat themselves, but. <laughs> yeah. If I had to pick which of these two I would take in against vampires, I might even pick the Bretonian. Yeah. I mean, now you would. <laughs> yes. Yes. Without, I mean, without the AG6 particularly, but even as they came into this match. Yeah. I mean, it's the Dauntless, the Blodge, the Tackle. There's just lots of things there that can do nasty things to vampire teams. Yeah, for sure. It does lack a tiny bit of hitting, doesn't it, with just that one mighty blow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you want to see ideally a tiny bit more than that to take out some of the thralls on the line of scrimmage, which is a, a nice way of getting on top of the vamps early. Yep. But it's still got a lot of tools in its its armory against vampires. I don't like that push direction. I would have liked. I would have liked to have hit him up and followed, and then you've got like a way out with getting an extra square forward. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. No, but only three turns left after this. I mean, it is on a fast piece. There's every chance he still gets there, but there's a lot of people that, if you know my coaching, you'll have seen. I, I fight for every space I can take. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. If I was cyber here, I might be tempted to drop the good game. <laughs> uh, particularly after Kor danced his way in for his touchdown. I, I think that would be... Uh... Yeah, I'd but of course, the GG you know, Toxic, this stops now. Time to, uh, time to be nice. <laughs> yeah, I'd drop the GG easy. <laughs> L2P. <laughs> PTK. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> Your move. Absolutely. <laughs> Mute, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, oh, well, he gets a stun, and I mean that stun's okay, isn't it? That's yeah. that's nice. Really just wants to cover enough, get enough rats recovered here into position where maybe next turn he can try and do something, but very hard to imagine what and how it might work. Yeah. Impossible to imagine for me. <laughs> he doesn't even have sidestep on this guy, so he can make he can it's just too easy, isn't it? Until things become possible, Jim, lots of things look impossible. Who knew that white twixes could ever be a thing? I know, right, yeah. Good point. Very good point. No vanity passes, no Gary, you lunatic. <laughs> Drop me a follow for coaching tips, that'd be brilliant. Respect foul. Hmm. Of course it's going to be fine, because there just aren't enough rats left, but have we prioritised positional security enough this turn? No, I don't think so, no, I think this is a little... I'm glad I'm not alone there, Jim, because I didn't think so. I mean, it, it's going to be fine, but... Yeah, it's really hard for the rats to do anything. It is. It's, it'll be fine, because of that. <laughs> Yeah, and especially with all of this, and now he gets to even GFI foul, doesn't he? Yeah, that that gutter runner gets kicked in the face. Yeah. Didn't even stick in a reroll in the GFI. Doesn't need it. Instant yeah, full stop. Um, and that's it. That's the last dangerous piece between him and the touchdown line. Yeah. yeah, it's fair enough. Like they've been playing for like an hour and a half, and you know, against K Fog as well, right? So it's like it's not as if you're just playing <laughs> against someone who's not trying. You're playing against someone who, you know, not, not really intimidating, is he? Although he is in real life a 
a massive guy. <laughs> he's he's a lovely fellow, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, he's yeah, he's, absolutely. Look, he's, still going for the ball hit there, which you know there still was a route up through the back of this cage. Yeah. Um, needed the dice, needed a, a five three there, didn't get it. But um, as I said last turn, a little bit too casual for me. Yeah, I know he really wanted that foul on the gutter, but. I'd, I'd have tried to lock this door a tiny bit tighter. Yeah. But yeah, that's Said the it thing. Before, Jim, don't like anyone coming up my back door. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. It is an hour and a half against PT. Yeah. He's just, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, and these kind of dominating positions are always the ones yeah. that people like let slip a little bit, aren't they? And play a little bit loose from that kind of spot. A, a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, there have been plays from both sides that I said things I didn't like about. Um, I, th I think that's our job to try and do that. It doesn't mean I, I didn't think these are two cracking coaches giving us a cracking game of Blood Bowl. Yeah. I don't think people coach perfect turns ever, really. Yeah. Uh, let alone perfect games or perfect drives. I just don't see that happening. So it's kind of our job to say, okay, that turn wasn't as brilliant as it could maybe have been. Yeah. But what a game. What a, what a festival of Blood Bowl these quarterfinals have turned into so far. Yeah, they have been brilliant. And... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Mackit. And uh, Martin scores easy. And yes, Pedro, yeah. And Ducky, thank you very much. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you all for joining us, guys. They're, they're fun to do, or else we wouldn't be here. Um, I would be watching these games anyway, and I, I always have opinions I don't mind talking about. Do you? <laughs> oh, I am I known for that, call. How are you feeling, my friend? Um, stamped on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those two bribes into two into two casas was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Tell you, if you wanted that sort of beating in central London, it would cost you money. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm oh. just happy I, it ended up being at least some kind of game in overtime for a couple of turns. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, could you believe you he treated his ball that casually? No, but it kept working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the pickup fail obviously is a pickup fail. The, these things happen. Um, you, you came for it as aggressively as you could. I knew you would, and that was nice to see. But the turn after that, and the turn after that, I thought, oof, why is he giving yeah. core chances again? Yeah, I don't know. That's again, like I was happy we got a game out of it because it didn't look like it would be a game. No, it was. It was very early on, wasn't it? That uh, that that loose screen that didn't really protect the ball. Yeah, don't watch the VOD ever. Um, we just said nice things about that turn. <laughs> no, that was, that turn was just... I missed the, yeah, I missed the plus okay. movement. I actually couldn't get so long. Yeah. Uh, actually, he was out of my screen when I, when I didn't uh, go for it. Hate to tell you this, we thought there were two other knights that could have got there too. Yeah, probably. I, I, thought, probably... I thought he had three stacking options that turn. It was uh, the turn before was my problem where I didn't get anybody anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Uh, um, that was the whole problem, whole first half. Every time a little bit worked, then the, it's not like you okay where where I got the nice dodges working to, so you could get something ahead. That was just nothing. The the one that moving anywhere. I mean, it started with a very nice first turn, didn't it? Two line of scrimmage removals, looking yeah, like uh, under, a nice under two. dominant position. And then it all just fell to... Yeah, fell that to team is, The problem is that team is anything I don't want to play with, with the blood sides they tackle all over the place. <laughs> yeah. It's just a horrible matchup. So I tried to, like, drag him... My idea was to tra drag him out and hopefully find some spaces. <laughs> Yeah, but, extend the pitch to its full length. But that was that was just nowhere to run, and it, it just felt like every time I tried to do, like the turn that ended up terrible, did also start with a failed dongles into a failed two plus. Go, yes. Got out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, let, 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 the, the dauntless would be the blitz, and um, you know, I mean, I, I know you don't mind a dauntless blitz, but it, they do fail one in six times, I hear. But that was fine. The problem was then also having to use the reroll and dodge out. Yeah, limited completely what I dared to do, and decided to just just leave. And and the thing was, if he got for the hit, I probably would be fine picking up the ball next turn anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cyber's was... in the chat. I don't know if you want to join us in Jimmy's and actually come and talk to us, Cyber. Uh, you'd be more than welcome. Um, but yes, we we didn't like some of the things you did in overtime. I have to say, 
Um, yeah. But they well, worked. Not. You know, you, you got it done. And we, we were very forgiving over, you know, a long, stressful game against one of the toughest competitors in Blood Bowl. Um, that, you know, finding the exact perfect square every turn is tough to do. Yes. But yeah, there were some decisions we didn't think were brilliant. Um, I think that's that's reasonably prescient of you. <laughs> that won't surprise you. Yeah. So we we like liked your aggressive game plan in the first half, particularly. Yeah, that you need to do that because it is eighty three. That's nothing. It's eighty three and only a couple of dots players, and you can keep putting diving tackle and tackle on those dudes. Makes everything so much harder. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, I wasn't a big fan of the the push up the right hand side for the the trying to equalise uh, at the end of the first half. I thought the the final peasant, which needed to lock the position up, either needs to go one square further, but even that wasn't ideal. Or I thought stand straight in front of the ball carrier, uh, yeah. giving him a one die at best. But um, you know, again, you, you created the opportunity. If it was pushes, you were in. So uh, you know, it's, it wasn't terrible. I just thought it might have been some slightly better shapes there, but. It's always easier to see when you're not having the stress of coaching Blood Bowl at this time of day against one of the best players on earth. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, I, but I, I said in the commentary, I think, just before we started, that I think one of the most underrated skills in Blood Bowl is the ability to forgive yourself. Yeah, just keep playing. Yeah. I mean, if, if you do a turn that you know wasn't good, forgive yourself. Move on. Um, do have a nice turn the next turn, because we all make mistakes almost every turn. If you really analyze it, there's a slightly better square or a slightly better turn order, uh, let alone every drive or every game. So the ability to not mind about that, to keep going, trust to your abilities and know it might come good in the end is, I think, really crucial. And and you certainly did that. You know, you kept going. There wasn't didn't seem a lot of panic, except perhaps a little early in the overtime. Yeah. But there you go. Congratulations, Cyber Knight. Commiserations. Have fun. <laughs> PT, have fun, yeah, against the Ducky. That's going to be a great match. Thanks yeah, um, yeah, I'm fine. When the, my game plan against Ducky had been just trying to one turn it every time he scored, just one turn back. Yeah. So uh, when the 86 died, then I was probably yeah. fine losing. Yeah, yeah, keep him on offense is uh, is not a bad shout against vampires, is it? Uh, that was uh, that was my game plan. Just yeah, keep I scoring. I like that game plan. And uh, thank you very much, Purple Chess, for the core oh, commentary. Pleasure. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.